Alright, so at the beginning of the video, I want to go ahead and point out really, really quick that I'm using a new editing software and I'm not entirely used to it at the current moment, so kind of forgive me if the editing isn't like okay-ish, I would say, because right now I'm still adjusting to it and I can only hope that I get better as time progresses on. If you're curious to what it is, it's Sony Vegas 15. Honestly, that's just what it is. I I just got it like last night. Uh, I tried to get into like kind of like how to use it the whole time I was trying to figure out how to use it and I was lost. I was I was more god than a fucking child lost in a fucking grocery store. So <laughs> So, so I'm using a new editing software. Uh, I mainly got it because I'm working on a project video uh, that will either come out in the next coming week or so, and if not, probably around towards the beginning of the new year because uh, I need to get some clips for it. I need to, you know, obviously learn and figure out how to ed edit on Sony Vegas a lot better. So. Uh, hopefully whenever it gets done I can obviously upload that but for the time being I'm still going to learn how to use Sony Vegas by doing my super reviews by just doing how I would normally edit on my my old editing software so anyways today we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super episode 118 a lot of action there's some humor in the episode that I got a couple chuckles from I thought it was pretty funny it put a smile on my face and we get we, we get two universes being erased and if it wasn't obvious from either you watched my reviews and uh, I kind of made it obvious to you as to which universe was gonna live gonna get eliminated but then last week when Ribrian and Rosie got eliminated I was like ah oh, so is like universe 2 gonna get erased now or is Universe 6 going to get eliminated? Well, they kind of decided to make both universes get erased. Two universes get erased today. This week in Dragon Ball Super. And it's Universe 6 and Universe 2. Uh, uh, so, yeah. It's basically Gohan and Piccolo versus the Universe 6 Namekians. Uh, Salnel and... And Pre... I forget... I I forget their names and I am the worst person in the world. I am I am the worst Dragon Ball fan in the universe. <laughs> so, ba yeah, basically one fight is Universe 6 Namekians versus Gohan and Piccolo and the other fight is actually it starts off as a 3 on 1 of Goku versus Universe 2 fighters and then towards like the middle of the episode, I want to say, uh 17 and 18 jump in so it's a 3 on 3. So, they did a lot of directing choices that I wasn't expected. I wasn't expecting for, and that's they have two fights going on basically at once. So they would do a cut, and they would do a scene where Goku is fighting the Universe Two fighters, right? And then they would do a jump cut, and then it would show Go Gohan like fighting against one of the Namekians or something like that. So the directive or the yeah, the directive like take that, that they put in this episode was definitely interesting to watch. There was a lot of action. There was a lot of other humorous moments that happened because later on in the episode, um, or either in the beginning of the episode, they actually show that the entirety of Universe 2 is being fucking live streamed, you can say, to the whole entirety of Universe 2. The whole entirety of Universe 2 is watching the Tournament of Power happen right right on like a TV screen, like a huge ass one in like the middle in like the middle of like wherever their fucking planet is, right? I honestly was surprised by it because I was like, isn't like the Tournament of Power like a secretive thing? And then I thought in my head, like, wasn't wasn't like universe like nine 
Prian, whatever the fucking Namekian's name. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember it because I'm such a fucking idiot, right? So I, I was like, wasn't Universe Nine like freaking out like the whole time because their universe they found out that their universe was about to get erased, and you know the only universe that kept it secret was Universe Seven, but that's besides the point. So, anyways, uh, we get fightings, fighting shots and scenes from you know S Sonel and Prian or or Prina, 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 Prin, frick, fuck, fuck. From we get fighting scenes from the the, uh, the Saiyans of Gohan and Goku, Piccolo, and then fucking Namekians and shit. It was very interesting. The directive take that they put on this episode was definitely a lot different than what I thought I was going for. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get into explaining how or what happens on like Goku's Goku's fight, and then I'll explain what happened with. Go on and Piccolo. So first, it starts off with Goku, and it's it's a it's a three on one. Yeah, right. It's a three on one. Goku is completely exhausted out of his energy because he had just gotten done fighting, you know, fucking Universe Six with Khalifa and Kale, right? Or or Kalefla or Kefla, right? And using Ultra Instinct also. So Goku is completely exhausted, and he's still able to go blue and I don't know if that's an ass pull I don't know if that's like some sort of ass pull thing because I feel like I feel like with Goku and him being like extremely fatigued and not really having ener any energy whatsoever like last time we saw him in last week's episode he was barely able to fucking move right and then here we are seeing him fight three guys by himself and he goes into blue so it's really interesting and so we go back to what i was talking about with universe 2 being able to watch the whole fight and what's going on right so rip Brienne's doing her fucking or not rip Brienne, brianne de chateau is doing her fucking thing like yeah let's share your love and give these guys your love so that way they can they can cross uh, they can cross dress and look like us yeah so like there's this big ass motherfucker who who looks really muscular but is always talking about love and shit as well as any other fighter from the universe too and then to make it worse he fucking cross dresses and looks like Rip Rianne. and I'm just like why and then the other two look like Rosie and that other fucking girl whose name I can't remember it was extremely uncomfortable and I don't know I, I don't know why they did this it honestly just pissed me off more than anything. It pissed me off more than anything to the fact that we still have to experience like them shouting like, yeah, love, da da da, right? And so it's after this that 17 or 18 were like, yeah, it's probably is unfair. And I don't, we don't want to risk Goku getting fucking eliminated, right? So let's jump in and, and join the fight. And the kind of like, tease them or whatever uh 17 is like yeah i'm like the evil bad guy that knocked off those two other girls and then krillin points it out like oh he's really getting into it isn't he and then 18 jumps in and she's like yeah i'm the goddess of universe 7 and i'm like cool and then goku's like yeah i'm goku what's up <laughs> i'm goku and it was funny it was humorous and the, the crossplay made me laugh, but if anything, it, it pissed me off, right? It pissed me off. I was more annoyed than anything. Uh, we get a couple of shots from Go On and Piccolo, but we're not talking about that right now. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, I do want to point out really quick that Weiss notices Beerus is being a little bit more quieter than normal. And that's probably because he can obviously tell that Universe 6 is about to get eliminated from Gohan and Piccolo. And that, you know, his brother's universe is about to get eliminated. Which is very interesting. And I'll talk about that as well at the end of the video. Because uh, there's kind of like a scene obviously that happens at the end of the episode. So, anyways. Uh, the three warriors or fighters from Universe 2 charge up like this big black fucking heart and they 
And it, I forget what it's called, and I don't really care what it's called either, because it's a fucking black heart. And apparently this shit's like fucking heavy. It's so fucking heavy that when it gets directly on top of 1718 and Goku, Goku can't even use instant transmission to get out of the fucking thing. And I feel like that almost doesn't make sense. But at the same time, I, I think it's like kind of stupid. And so Goku, you know, being Goku, and Toei doing the ass pull that they do, like almost every week, they <laughs> they made Goku go Super Saiyan Blue. They make Goku go Super Saiyan Blue. He charges up a Kamehameha. He shoots out the Kamehameha at the three fighters whose names I just don't fucking care enough to figure out. <laughs> He, he shoots the Kamehameha, charged up in Super Saiyan Blue at them, and they get eliminated. They get eliminated, so Universe 2 uh, gets eliminated. They, let me say this before anything. Universe 2 and Universe 6 get eliminated basically at the exact same time. So I'm just describing what's happening, you know, at the, at the current moment with, like, Goku's fight, and then I'll explain in a little bit Gon and Piccolo's fight. So... Goku charges up the Kamehameha, he shoots it at the three fucking fighters of Universe 2, and they're about to get knocked off, obviously, right? All while that's happening, Gohan and Piccolo, they're obviously fighting the Namekians, right? Stuff happens. I don't remember what happens, but stuff happens. Actually, no, I remember. Gohan and Piccolo are standing back to back against each other, right? And then, for some reason, somehow, Piccolo is able to sense, or rather everyone, everyone is able to sense the Namekians and how they surprisingly got a lot more stronger, just like almost out of nowhere, right? Well, it turns out what happened was th the reason why these guys like somehow got more powerful was because Piccolo was able to sense inside of the bodies of energy that obviously the Namekians have, they're stronger because before the Tournament of Power began and before they were chosen, what happened was is that they decided to fuse with a whole bunch of Namekians on their planet. So basically, they, you know, they fused and absorbed the energy of a lot of Namekians on their home planet, and thus far they became a lot more stronger. So at this point, Gohan's like. Yeah, what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distract them and you're gonna charge up your special beam cannon, right? You're gonna charge up your special beam cannon, right? So Piccolo does that. Gohan gets entangled by one of the one of the fucking Namekians like arms and shit and Gohan can get out of it. Piccolo is like, fuck you. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save Gohan. Shoots off the special beam cannon. At one of the Namekian, at one of the Namekians whose names I can't remember, and even if I remembered them, I wouldn't be able to tell who was fucking who. Right, so Piccolo shoots. Shoot, Piccolo shoots off special beam cannon, and at first, it doesn't go through the guy that he shot it at. And at first, I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. The special beam cannon is supposed to be able to go through anything, right? Uh, I, I didn't think about it like this for a second, but then I was like, but then, but then I was like, wait a minute, I guess it kind of makes sense, like, what happened, because of the fact that it wasn't like a fully charged special beam cannon, so it's like, I got to think of it like that, and even though like at first I was like, kind of like upset of that happening, it's not it's not really like it fucking matters so it's it's okay it's okay it's whatever I'm not mad about it I was kind of mad about it before but then I kind of thought about it and I was like wait this makes more sense than the other so anyways anyways uh, they tease Piccolo I guess like kind of dying because uh, obviously, like, the special beam cannon that Piccolo had charged up, it wasn't strong enough to go through the fucking guy. So, the guy shoots a beam from his mouth, it hits Piccolo, and then it goes cut to, like, commercial on, like, on, like, TV Tokyo, right? So, 
After that, we get back to the fighting, and first thing we see is Piccolo. He's on the ground, but then right next to him, we actually see Kami and Nail. And I was like, "Oh, are they gonna do like this cool shit where like Kami and Nail like somehow make him like stronger or whatever?" Kind of like I don't know, like the Namekians that the, the other two had. And, I, and like it's like no, like all Kami does is like point at Gohan because Gohan had protected Piccolo so for those DBZ fans you know this is basically the time that Piccolo sacrifices life for Gohan except in reverse and Gohan obviously doesn't sacrifice his life which was a cool nod to DBZ but I feel like like the whole sh like shot with Piccolo on the ground and the nail and Kami being there didn't make any sense so anyways Piccolo has a few words to himself uh, like he always does. He goes back to charging the special beam cannon. Uh, Gohan is always like keeping those two distracted so I pick a look and do that. All in the meanwhile, uh, uh, whilst Goku is doing his thing, charging up his Kamehameha in Super Saiyan Blue, Gohan is doing the exact same thing. Obviously not in Super Saiyan Blue, but he's charging up a Kamehameha so he can shoot it at the Namekians, right? So, obviously, because that happens, that gives Piccolo a little bit more. I have a scab on my arm. I'm sorry. I keep poking. I keep picking at it. I'll, I'll stop for the time being because I don't really want to fuck up my arm or whatever, right? So anyways, Piccolo, he, he gets a little bit more time to charge up his special beam cannon. And then as Gohan is deflecting the beam back from Pri, uh, Prina, or Prien, whatever, however you say his name, uh, the guy is shooting the beam from his mouth. Um, obviously Piccolo then shoots off his special beam cannon. It's fully charged, the weight is over, he shoots off the special beam cannon at the Namekians and then they both get eliminated. And so therefore, Universe 2 and Universe 6 are finally both eliminated. So, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like, like here's how it happened. at the finale of the episode they were like okay so we didn't win we didn't save our universe but it's all right because we're gonna spread the message of love to everyone right and like although like yeah it's annoying like I'm not gonna lie it was like kind of sad it was like kind of sad because it's like even like after all that in the end they yeah, they still were like yeah, we're gonna spread the message of love and stay the same. We're not gonna, you know, give up, whatever, right? And so, it was, it was, I don't know why. It was, like, kind of sad. And I kind of felt bad for the insults that I gave to Rip Brienne and stuff like that. I don't regret them, but I, I kind of feel bad for, like, being rude, I guess. Because in the end, it was, like, kind of sad. I was more sad for Universe 6, if anything because Kale is like trying to like help out and she's trying to be like nice and shit and actually in the middle of the fight with the Namekians and Gohan and Piccolo Khalifa actually like uh, says to them like yeah if you don't win I'm gonna clobber you so she goes after the two Namekians and Super Saiyan and that was kind of funny but still like kind of sad so all the meanwhile Universe 2 just got eliminated and Universe 6 is slowly getting eliminated. All in the meanwhile, Kaba's trying to, you know, say something really quick to his brother, you know, Beerus. Beerus kind of just looks at him. He doesn't really say anything to him. Chapa makes a funny looking face and then he just, he's just gone. And then Beerus just kind of looks back and just doesn't say anything. And I feel like it's because, like, even though, like, they like they seem to, like, kind of hated each other, right? You gotta understand that it's, like, they're still brothers. And for those of you who have brothers, you kind of understand what I mean. Like, you'll get into arguments with your brother, and you'll kind of, like, sometimes seem like you hate your brother. Stuff like that. But you don't really mean it, because you still, like, care about them, right? This is kind of, like, the same way with Beerus and his brother. All the meanwhile... Vegeta's actually like super pissed, right? Because 
Uh, for those of you who know, you know, like what Vegeta was planning on doing, he planned on trying to, he plans on trying to bring back Universe Six so that way he can go to Planet Sidal in Universe Six and see the uh, the Saiyans there and stuff like that. So that was like kind of neat, I guess. So that's the end of the episode. I'm gonna go ahead and end the end the video here because my throat is dry and I really want to drink something and I'm also. I kind of just want to lay down because I'm lazy. I got a new blanket and pillow. They're extremely soft and I just want to lay down. So anyways, I'll see you guys next week for uh, Boruto episode 36, I believe. And then obviously, of course, Dragon Ball Super episode 119. And we actually do get to see a couple fights from Universe 4 and kind of like the trump card that the Universe 4 God Destruction has had under his sleeve i guess you can say so anyways that's the end of the video and yeah i hope you guys did enjoy be sure to drop a like if you're new consider hitting that subscribe button for future content just like this i'm out and yeah i that kind of just fucking ruined the ending or the outro but whatever i'm out see you later